Good morning everybody and welcome to a day in my favourites. This is a vlog that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I love watching other people's a day in my favourites videos on YouTube. Anna from the Anna Edits are like my current favourite to watch. I just find them really relaxing. I don't know why. But I thought I would do my own today. I haven't done a favourites video in years. So this is going to be really alien to me but I'm really excited to get started. I've just cleansed my skin put on a mist, I've packed it all away, but it was the Allies of Skin Mist and the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I've done a full skincare routine if you wanna go and watch it. So I'm not gonna go through a ton of like my regular favorites today because I feel like I've talked to you guys through my skincare routine so many times. But I do have a couple of new additions. The first one being the product that I just used, which is the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. It looks like this. It's cute. The smell is incredible. It feels really nice to apply and I just love the smell. I just love the smell so much. So I've been using that so regularly at the moment, which is great because normally I forget to use lip balm quite a lot. So the fact that I love that, it means I've been using it more regularly. And then I have a few new bits in my little skincare pouch. This is the pouch of things that I don't have two of. So I have to take back and forth between my house and Ryan's house. So I'm gonna get started with this, which I used to love so much. If you're an old viewer, you will as well it's the sarah chapman skin assist intense hydrating booster and this is great to use like under oils under moisturizers it's just one of those hyaluronic serums that leaves your skin really plump and hydrated i'm having to be really gentle with my forehead today because i have a spot on it my skin has been bad i can't tell if it's stress the fact that restrictions have eased and we're now eating out again and i have less like control over knowing for sure what's in my food so you know there could be dairy i'm not sure is it that i've started eating bread again and i shouldn't have is it stress because it could well be stress <laughs> i've been very stressed lately so yeah not really sure what's going on with my face at the moment so i've been loving this just for leaving my skin really plump and hydrated I've also been using a tiny amount of the Medicaid C Tetra, I think that's how you say it, Vitamin C Radiant Serum. Vitamin C is definitely one of those like love it or hate it products. I know people that swear by it and then I know people that are like, it does bad things for my face. I am still very on the fence, but I basically use like a drop on areas of like scarring. So I have like a heavy area of scarring here. I just have been applying like this is lifting so well and has been lifting so well since I started using the vitamin C on it. So yeah, I don't apply it all over my face because <laughs> honestly with how my skin is, I'm a little bit scared, but I literally have just been applying it in this area and the scarring is lifting so well. And I think if you struggle with vitamin C, that's a really great way to apply it and know if your skin reacts to it because this area of my face is fine and that's just where I've been using it. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell as well, but I also had a patch of scarring. You probably would never have seen it, but I had a patch of scarring up here on my forehead and that is all but almost gone. And a few weeks back, I was using the vitamin C in a patch up here as well. So that just goes to show the power of vitamin C. And once all of this goes down in terms of like the breakout and it's just scarring, I will definitely be using the vitamin C just on those areas as well to lift that. I just think that it is magical. And they're using it in just a patch has really helped me to not only like make sure that it's not breaking my skin out but also really help to lift those areas of scarring so I'm so happy with it. So because my skin is having a bit of a wobble at the moment I am just going to be using this today no moisturizer just keeping it really simple but this is like so hydrating but it has salicylic acid in it which makes it great like if you are acne prone I know a lot of people that have acne and breakouts really like to steer away from oils but this is honestly like the best oil if you are cautious of that because it does have salicylic acid and it's amazing for like decongesting your skin, honestly, I love this. And I know so many people have said this has really helped their skin. I did find when I first started using it, my skin went a little bit like bumpy, like around my pores or my nose, I would get little bumps and they went away after a couple of days. And then I was just left with this really like plump looking, smooth, super decongested skin. Like the texture of my skin completely changed. It was like that really clear, gorgeous skin. And a little with this really does go a long way. I've used quite a lot today, but normally like four drops is enough to do your whole face. I always concentrate a little bit of it around my nose, which is not a place I would ever normally put an oil, but it has helped the like blackheads and congestion on my nose so much that this is the only oil that I will actually put on my nose. I also make sure to cover my chin with it really well because that's another area that gets congested. I'm gonna talk you through some favorites in my evening routine later. But yeah, that is it for my morning skincare. I'm just gonna go in with my Helio 
SPF. This is the Helio Care 360 Fluid Cream. I love this. I'm going out today, so I'm going to be using this one. If I was staying in, I would use the Ultraviolet SPF 30 Clean Screen because I'm going to be outside in direct sunlight and the sun is very, very bright today. I'm going to be using this one. So I just wait for my skincare to sink in and then I apply this and then we're going to move on to makeup. I'm also going to tan this morning. I'm going to be using the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Gel. This, as you can see, is one of my favorites. I've been through so many of these. I should really do an empties video. Let me know if you would like that. I've never done one of those. Keeping empty products, I don't know, it's always just felt a bit weird to me. But I swear, if I did an empties video, there would be like six of these just like backed up. I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to be using this one today because I'm going to change potentially if I get time, I'm going to film a reel and I'm going to change my outfit a couple of times and I don't want to have like a guide colour left on my skin just in case it transfers onto dresses. I just can't be bothered to be really careful today. It's also so hydrating on my skin and I feel like my skin really needs that. I haven't tanned in so, so long because I've been outside so much. I've been having to wear SPF on my skin and that will just break this down very, very quickly. So I just haven't really been bothering to tan, but I'm definitely feeling the need now and my skin just looks so parched. I really take for granted how hydrating these tans are and I don't normally have to use like body moisturizers and when I haven't been tanning I've actually been needing to use body moisturizer. So bizarre to me. So yeah I'm gonna get this on. I'll be back with you in a sec to do makeup. Done already. I forget how fast that tan dries. Amazing. Just done my base. So we have by Terry CC Serum, which I definitely am in need of a new one of. This is basically turning into like a things I use up, empties kind of favorites hybrid. I also use the YSL Touche Eclair foundation and then the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 270 under my eyes. And now I'm going to be using the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this palette. I think it's me in a palette. It's perfect. It's got black, it's got like dark brown, it's got a medium brown, it's then got these like kind of orangey browns which have been my go-tos. So there's a shade called Orange Soda which if you're a 90s kid it will bring back great memories for you. I like to use the shade Orange Soda, Burn Orange and then this kind of matte very light shade over here called Tempura. Tempura. I don't think it's like Tempura like the prawns. Maybe it is. Who knows? I like to mix the three of them together just for a really like natural colored wash over the lid. But orange soda is also great because if I fancy like a pastel-y kind of peachy orange, it's perfect. And then if I wanna do like a full glam with a crease color that's like darker, like a darker brown, I can use the burnt orange color. And even just with those three shadows, I can make very different looks. And that's not even starting on all of the rosy colors in the palette, which I haven't really made a start on yet just because I've been really enjoying a very, very simple, Kind of eye look so yeah this palette has definitely been a favorite of mine this month it's just a really great one if you like like warm tones and some of the warmer tones like there are cooler warm tones in here than normal it's not like all bright oranges and i really like that it's like cool warm tones so just something really subtle along the lash line and then i'm going to use my mac liner over the top just to set it and keep it in place because i've got spf on and everything just slides about. So I'm just going to leave that to all dry in and leave my lashes to settle before I put mascara on. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade which is another favourite of mine whilst I wait for that to set. I'm using the shade Soft Brown which is a good match. I would say I could do with Ash Brown though. I do remember Ash Brown being a little bit light sometimes so I wonder if there's a better shade for me but this one is good. It always looks a bit crazy when I first put it on but it doesn't set straight away so it's nice and easy to like drag out and make it look softer and a little bit more natural. And I mostly use this underneath my brow to kind of give it a little bit more definition and shape and then just drag the excess through the front of my brows and really try and keep that like fade out. And I've also gone back to very gently filling in 
the top part of my brow. And then I'm going to be using the Glossier Boy Brow, another one of my favourites for the month. I didn't realise how much I'd missed having this brow gel in my life. Then for my lashes, I'm going to be using the Glossier Lash Slick, another Glossier product in my favourites. But a lot of you will know if you've been watching the vlogs that I bought a lot of their products over the past month. And... These are the ones that I have been really enjoying. So that's what the lashes are looking like. I'm very happy with them. They don't even look their best today, but they still look really, really good. A bronzer favourite of mine this month has been the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. This is my second one of these. Again, another empties style situation. This was my previous one. These shades are actually only like one shade or two shades different, but they very kindly sent this to me in PR because they saw that I was running out. So this one, I still am using. I still use it. I actually use it more for like my nose and if I want to do little bits on my eyes, it's just a little bit easier to get a little brush in here than a big bronzer face brush. But for my face, I've been using this one and I don't have to use as much of it because it is a little bit darker. I don't even know if you're really meant to use this as a bronzer, but I love it. I just think it melts into the skin really nicely for a powder. No patchiness, it blends really beautifully. It's got like a subtle shimmer to it, which is not something I would usually go for in a bronzer, but I think that really helps it to blend. And it works with my skin as well because my base is quite dewy really overall. So that's it on my cheeks. I'm gonna blend out a little bit more in a second. And I actually really like this shade. This is shade eight. Yeah, shade eight. It has like a ready, tone to it which works really well when bronzing my skin tone because i don't really want a contour i don't worry about it being too cool toned though shade seven was a little bit cooler and did work well for contouring as well as a light bronze so that has been a firm favorite of mine this month i'm very happy to have it back in my life and then for lips i've been loving a lot of things so this is going to be a really hard one to narrow down my first favorite is charlotte tilbury dance floor princess i found this in a handbag and honestly, I've been looking for it all month and have never been so happy to be reunited with it. So I, I have been wearing that a lot this week. But overall this month, my favourite has been the Hermes Rosy Lip Enhancer in Rose Apricot. So it's a really beautiful, like apricot-y, peachy shade. Very, very sheer. These cost an obscene amount of money, but they have been my favourite. I just ignore how much I paid for them. They just give the nicest little bit of colour to your lips without looking like anything too much. These have been my favourites for minimal makeup days, which I have been having a lot more of this month. So that is the overall vibe. And then I have one more thing that I have been absolutely loving, which will come as no surprise. Is it in my makeup bag though? That is the question because it tends to come everywhere with me. Here we go. It was in my minimal makeup bag. I love this. I've been using this on my lips and absolutely adore it but it is meant for your cheeks. This is the Hourglass Blush Stick in the shade Wonder. It is so pretty i really should have applied this before bronzer i know but that is where i'm gonna leave it for my face last month i was loving the vive highlighter so much but i just haven't been using it as much this month but i do feel like it needs an honorable mention this highlighter is fab i love it so that is my makeup done love it i've been really enjoying this kind of look this month very simple and almost like paired back but there's a lot of makeup on here like really simple glam and i've been really enjoying it now i need to do my hair there are very few hair favorites at the moment um i've been keeping it really simple so next i'll be back with you to show you my outfit favorite so this month all of my style favorites have actually worked together really well to make a cute little outfit i actually haven't worn this outfit yet but i've worn a variation of this this dress in particular represents a whole category of like this kind of favorite if that makes sense basically i've been loving off the shoulder midi dresses that have like smocking around the chest the little like elasticated off shoulders cute little sleeves that kind of vibe i have the white daily sleeper dress now since my nasty gal dress that was like this but in white bit the dust very sadly so i have that one i have my black one from nasty gal and now i have this really cute gingham one from misguided which i have been loving so much just a really nice little variation on the black and white that i already have i have a black and white one and i've been really loving this one as well it's very similar to the nasty girl ones except i would say not a linen texture like the nasty girl ones are a linen look i also have the nasty girl ones in a size 10 this one is a size 8 and fits much better my daily sleeper one i believe is a size small or a size 8 i will clarify in the info box and fits like a dream but today i didn't fancy wearing all white like the the weather's not like hot enough to justify like the all white dress but i thought this one would be perfect i've paired it with my mango bag which has been 
a real solid favourite of mine this month. And then my And Other Stories sandals, which I bought the Rosie Huntington Whiteley collab sandals and I love those, but I love my high street sandals way more. I've also got a little anklet on, which I will try and link. I got it from ASOS, so they like fly out of stock, like their jewellery is just a bit of a nightmare. When it comes to linking it, it's never in stock, but I'll try and find some dupes and link those in the info box for you. And then my Astrid and Me earrings, which I just love so much. For fragrance, I have two I've been loving and you will have definitely seen me mention these before. First one is Tom Ford, Lost Cherry. This is just one of my favorite perfumes in the whole wide world. Literally, it smells like cherries. It's so beautiful. It's got this lovely mix of like cherry, almond vanilla it's so so beautiful if you like really unique scents and quite strong ones you will love this if you prefer like florals this one is not for you but if you love like fruity scents sweet scents you will absolutely adore this and then i also have been loving bronze goddess by estee lauder this isn't like an old classic which i actually did a poll on to see how many of you knew about this because to me this is an og in the beauty industry and i was shocked at how many people had never heard of this fragrance but it is incredible this is the skin scent version i have the normal perfume version and then skin scent is like sun cream coconut creamy goodness like it smells like you are on holiday and it just smells like a second skin it's really really beautiful there is nothing else in the world like estee lauder bronze goddess skin scent incredible if you like a coconutty smell that malibu sun cream like good memories is going to give you a real throwback to like better times this is it i absolutely adore this so yeah i've been really enjoying alternating between these two this is more my summer nighttime scent it's like the perfect daytime scent during the winter and then a lovely nighttime scent during the summer and this is my favorite I'm sorry, I can't stop tapping. This is really, <laughs> this is doing like weird things to me. This is just like a lovely, lovely daytime one. I adore both of these so much. So I will link those if you guys are interested. So I've just filmed a reel and now I'm getting ready to make myself some cereal. Very excited to talk to you about this. <laughs> no, it sounds like I'm about to introduce a spawn. I'm not. I'm very excited to talk to you about this next product because I love it so much that I bought two six packs of it. This is the kind of six pack that I am talking about in my life. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see. You can't see up the top of uh, my cupboard. This is my favorite <laughs> for the month. So my food favorite. If you haven't seen me talk about this already, that kitchen cupboard gives me heebie-jeebies. If you haven't seen me talk about this already, it's the Pippa Nut Dark Chocolate Cornish Sea Salt Almond Butter. It is incredible. I genuinely get scared to talk about this for fear that it is going to sell out. It hasn't yet. I actually went into Sainsbury's and it was in full stock, which I then questioned why I was so worried and bought two six packs on Amazon, but fully stocked up. These are limited edition. So I think Pippa Nut changed them every, I want to say every quarter. The last one was a gingerbread one for Christmas, which was okay. It was okay. It worked well with cereal, which is how I got onto putting this stuff on my cereal. This is like a real treat. And I basically have turned my cereal into a dessert, which I'm not sure is very good for you. But my diet is generally very, very, very good. So I will take it. I will take the hit because it is so good. It's like chocolatey, but almond buttery, but salty, but sweet at the same time. Um, it is honestly so good. And I love chocolate and sea salt. It is like one of my favorite. I can't actually eat proper like chocolate in its chocolate form don't know why maybe it's the sugar content not sure fine with this i've been eating it for the best part of the year by the way before anyone <laughs> tries to diagnose my skin to being this don't take my favorites away from me <laughs> let me have them but yeah this has been my favorite i love it just as a spoonful whether it's on something i don't really have bread so <laughs> but on something is slightly like weird for me with fruit on cereal but yeah as you can tell i love it Hence the having to buy two six packs of it. And I have 12. Yes, I have 12. So that is one of my food favourites. My other food favourite, I've talked about so many times, but I'm not exactly worried about being broken record at this point. I quite enjoy it. Superfood Bakery Brownie Crisps. My goodness, these are the best things ever. This is actually not my favourite flavour. These are the chocolate chip and hazelnut, which are very good. However, they do a sea salt one. Mm. Also, these don't set my skin off. Honestly, I'll never know what it is, but there's something in like an actual bar of chocolate really Fs up my face. But yeah, they give you like some serving inspo on the back. Not that I needed any because I'll eat it alone or with everything. But yeah, ice cream, smoothie bowls in actual like baking. Oh, also really obsessed with hobnobs. I have my secret stash in here. Okay, one of my favorite flavor there. Oh no, two. <laughs> 
So let me just show you what my drawers look like. Yeah, I also have a packet of rinds as well. And uh, yeah, this is what I tend to do when I love a food because I just find vegan brands tend to disappear. It's almost like someone does them as a bit of a, a trial and then they don't do very well and then they disappear. Um, real. Anyway, I'm gonna make my cereal now. Yeah. Okay, so we are back in the bathroom. Say goodbye to my freshly made up face. I always find this is the saddest part of the day. Look at this little one. <laughs> She's waiting for her dinner so patiently. <laughs> oh, I was tidying the bedroom earlier and she was just lying here in the hallway staring at me. <laughs> she hates lying on the floor, so you know how ready she is for her dinner. So honestly, not sure what I'm having for dinner tonight. I think it's leftovers. This is like sweet corn, mayo, bacon, sausage, pasta. But I also have some of these and these are a big favorite of mine at the moment. These are from Tesco's and I am so obsessed. These are the best tomatoes. Like they're my absolute favorite. And whenever I go in the shop, there's only ever one packet left, but I always get the last packet and it makes me very happy. So I hope you enjoy what will probably be my last food favorite of the day, but bringing you some like dinner time realness here. These are the best. I snack on them throughout the day. They are that good. Honestly, I can't stop eating them. These on their own with a little bit of salt and pepper as well, like chopped up in a bowl. Bang him. So, I've had my dinner and I'm about to get in the shower and I thought I would give an honorable mention to my shower gel, which I have been loving so much. A little bit goes a long way. You guys will know when I bought this, I think it was in a vlog. I think it might have been the getting ready for spring vlog. So that was like back in March, I wanna say, or early April. This is huge. This is like the size of my head, kind of big, but it's the Cowshed Uplifting Bath and Shower Gel. I use this in my bath. I use it when I shower. I just absolutely adore this. I love Cowshed products, have them all over the bathroom, all over the house. They are my absolute place. And this is what I'll be using in the shower tonight. I need to rinse off my tan, it is looking good. <laughs> my hands are looking very good, very natural. I no longer match my face, which is very sad. That SPF 50 face though, it's fine. Makeup is a thing, but that is what I'm going to be using in the shower tonight. I'm not washing my hair tonight, but my Kerastase products that I love so much would be in this routine as favorites as well. If I was washing my hair tonight, but I'm not, so I'll save that for a future favorites video. But I've done IGTVs and reels over the Kerastase products that I use and just love so much. Like genuinely, I said it in the video, but I don't use anything else. Just carrots that. Yeah, it is shower time, and then I'm gonna get into bed and read my book because I am so, so tired. So, me and my shiny little forehead. <laughs> Look at that. Me and my shiny little forehead are in bed, and I'm getting ready to read. I've actually just finished this book, so this is one of my favorites for the month, if not the year so far. But I really, really enjoy this book. It's Just My Luck by Adele parks and it's basically a book about a couple that win the lottery and there's this real stereotype that if you win the lottery it's kind of like bad luck and it's inspired by that and a lot of drama ensues after they win the lottery and 
I just really liked it. Normally I read a book where someone's gone missing or someone's been murdered and there's that kind of mystery, but this has like a twist in it, but nothing like that. It's literally the whole storyline is that they win the lottery and the drama that ensues from that. And I thought because it didn't involve someone dying and it wasn't like a thriller in that kind of way that I might find it a bit boring and I put off reading this one for a while but I loved it. I liked it so much that my next book is by the same author. So this is called Both of You. And this one is about someone that goes missing. So I feel like I'm in safe territory here. But yeah, Just My Luck was definitely a book favorite for me this month, if not the entire year so far. We'll see. But yeah, that was last week's read. And I generally each night tend to either sit down and properly read or I watch TV and my TV favourites recently have been Scotland Time of the Year because I've got to support my friend Kate who is on it and honestly it's just the most wholesome TV show. I love it so much. I like to sit down with a cup of tea and watch that and then binge watch like an episode or two of Gardeners World after and just live my best granny life. Like I just pretend for a second that I'm, I'm retired and I'm living my best life but it also is kind of useful because I have a garden and it actually is mildly educational so it also helps me in terms of that. But yeah, I just like to pretend to be a granny for a good half an hour. What have I watched? Oh, I watched Believe Me and that was on Netflix. That was a real fan favorite of mine. I watched Snowpiercer recently, absolutely loved that. The only other favorite that I didn't get a chance to physically like show you in real time in this video are the M&S juices, which I've been loving so much. I really enjoy picking them up if I've like stayed out and I'm on my way back home in the morning and I just love them so much. The raspberry lemonade is really good and there's like a green smoothie, which is also really good, but then they do an orange one, which I love. But yeah, that was my final favorite. That was the only one that I didn't get to fully include in the vlog. But that is it for a day in my favorites. Did you like this video? Do you want to see another one next month? Would you like to see these like every couple of months? Let me know. But yeah, it is good night from me and my number one favorite. <laughs> we hope you've all enjoyed this video and you're all having a lovely day and we'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.